You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, that was Vivian Green vibe. So, in, on another verbal a t- Twitter onslaught, uh, Donald Trump attacked uh, both Don Lemon and uh, LeBron James. And as always, uh, the people of color, he seems to always intimate that they're not intelligent. Uh, me and Don Lemon, I have had, uh, uh, you know, we, we didn't always see things eye to eye, but I can tell you this uh, he's a bright, intelligent man. Uh, he is earnest and, and sincere about his profession. And profession, and I'd say over the last three or four years, he's really shown and developed his uh, d- uh, journalistic acumen to I don't to the point that I don't think that there are very many people who are doing what he's doing, particularly in this climate, who are having the tough interviews that he's having, who are saying some of the things that he's saying, who are calling people to task. And as far as LeBron James goes, um, you know, you could, we could argue who's the greatest. You could say Michael Jordan, you could say Kobe Bryant, you could say any number of people, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What no one can argue is that there has not been an athlete this socially active, this connected to a community and social causes since, uh, I'd say, Muhammad Ali. I mean, Colin Kaepernick, obviously, too, but I'm talking about in terms of an athlete, a high-priority athlete. He is probably the most famous athlete in the world, and he's clearly connected to his community, and he's not afraid to take a stance and to take an unpopular stance, and he's always seemed to be that way. You know, a lot of athletes just want to sell shoes or protect their brand. He seems to be wanting to develop, uh, you know, make things better for people in his community or the community he came from, i.e. the school. And Donald Trump seems to revel in, in reporting or in, in, in denigrating people of color. Now, I don't seem to, uh, he doesn't seem to, to do that when, uh, you know, if, if Eminem says something to him or some other white star says something to him, he lets them go. But always with people of color, he, he attacks their intellect. Now, let me ask you something. LeBron James built a school for underprivileged kids. He, he built a school with his own money. Donald Trump built a school to build dumb people out of money. And he had to pay $25 million. Now, let me ask you something. I think that almost, if you look at uh, both Don Lemon and, uh, and you look at LeBron James, wouldn't you want your kids to be like them? Wouldn't you want your kids to be hardworking, to be earnest, to be connected to the community, to be at the top of their profession? To seem to have uh, to be to be viable people, who would you want your son to be like? More like Donald Trump or more like LeBron James? Who who would you want them to be? More like somebody who pulled himself out by his bootstraps and made some of himself, and is not just counting on his athletic ability, but he's a human being. He's a human being who's connected to to, to humanity and doing things out of the goodness of his heart. Even when uh, Donald Trump had charities, there's very little evidence he gave money to charities in his name. He is a selfish, small-minded, small-handed, small-headed leader. And you can attack people's intelligence all you want, but nobody, none of them were in Helsinki and didn't know the difference between wood and wooden. That's a little note from the GED section. we got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. This, of course, is the D.L. Hubert Show.